Hey everyone! Roll20's map pens are now in open beta and available to all users, no subscription required. Map pens turn maps into storytelling tools by letting GMs pin information to locations in game, which helps organize prep, plant details for players to find, and reduce in session stress by keeping important resources accessible and limiting journal navigation. Here are five things you should know about map pins. The fastest way to create a map pin is by dragging a handout from your journal onto your map. This automatically fills the title, image, player, and GM notes. Couldn't be easier. You can also drag any header from within a handout to create an anchor pin, which adds a handy go to pin button for quick navigation, even to separate pages. And hey, if you'd rather make your pins from scratch, no problem. Place pin can be found on the toolbar or the right click menu and lets you build pins to either link handouts to manually or not, depending on your needs. By default, new pins are hidden from players, but can be revealed easily at any time from the mini menu or pin settings. Once visible, players can read player facing notes at any time. Clicking a pin opens its tooltip, and GMs will see separate tabs for player and GM notes. If the pin has an image, clicking it lets you see it larger, and pressing Shift Z shares it with your players. Double clicking a pin opens its linked handout if there is one, and if players have permission to view it, they'll see a pop out icon that they can click on their own. From pin settings, you can edit the pin title, choose which tooltip sections are visible, and control whether the image and notes come from the linked handout or are completely customized by you, which doesn't impact the original handout. For GMs running published adventures, including official D&D modules that are formatted a little differently than most homebrew, map pins can automatically pull read aloud text from the GM notes to be accessed by players in visible pins. This means any content that you've bought works seamlessly with map pins already. Finally, to keep maps clean and readable, pins can be resized from teeny to gigantic, depending on your needs, letting certain locations stand out and helping guide players to the most important information on screen. All in all, map pins make your games better, thanks to awesome feedback from the community. We're actively working on more customization options, but want to hear your other ideas for pins based on how you play. Give them a try and let us know what you think in the comments.